Hello, my dear students. Hope you all are doing well. I am going to teach you the new topic from the chapter, first chapter of geography, season and time. That is, today we want to learn the time calculation. So, we want to start from rotation. What is rotation? The movement of earth in its own axis is called rotation. Okay, the same along with revolution, the earth move in its own axis. That is called as rotation. Earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. Earth rotates from west to east. That is why we feel the sun rises in the east. Okay, so just think of it. In Can you say which state in India see the sun first and the last? Actually, I told you the earth rotate from west to east. So, the east see sun the first. So, Arunachal Pradesh, the easternmost state, see sun the first. And Gujarat, the westernmost state, see the sun the last. Okay. So, actually this rotation, it causes day and night. During rotation, the hemisphere that faces sun experience day and the other hemisphere experience night. Okay. Many of you travel a lot, especially while going abroad. Before the landing, maybe many of you are familiar with the announcement that uh, this destination country, it is the local time. Like that announcement is very common. And from that, it is clear that all over the world, time is not same. Each place, the time is different. Do you know why? How? So, this lesson, we are going to learn the time calculation. Okay. So, see my dear students. First, I am going to teach you the longitudes. So, what is longitude? The long lines that pass from the North Pole to South Pole. That is called as longitude. So, 180 longitudes in the Western Hemisphere and 180 longitudes in the Eastern Hemisphere. So, there are totally 360 longitudes. So, in a revolution, in 24 hours, the Earth complete these 360 longitudes. Okay. So, the one day, that is 24 hours. In 24 hours, the Earth completes the whole 360 longitudes. Then this, first we want to learn about this zero degree longitude. Zero degree longitude also called as Greenwich Meridian or Prime Meridian. Do you know why it is called as Greenwich Meridian? Because this meridian passes through Greenwich where the British Royal Observatory situates. That is why this meridian called as Greenwich Meridian. And the worldwide time is calculated based on this zero degree meridian. So it is called as prime meridian. And the local time of this Greenwich Meridian is called as GMT. That means Greenwich Mean Time. Okay. So first we learned what is rotation. Then we learned, then we understood that all over the world time is not same. Time is based on longitude. There are 360 longitudes, 180 in the western and 180 in the eastern hemisphere. So like that 360 longitudes. The zero degree longitude called as prime meridian or Greenwich meridian. It passes through Greenwich, so it is called as Greenwich meridian. The worldwide time is based on this zero meridian or the Greenwich meridian. So it is called as prime meridian. And the local time of Greenwich meridian is called as Greenwich mean time, that is GMT. So, based on this Greenwich meridian, the world is divided into 24 time zones. That means 12 time zones here and 12 time zones here. Okay. So, based on that, so 180 total, 1 hour 60 minutes. We are discussing about longitude. The long lines that passes from the North Pole to South Pole is called as longitudes. There are 360 longitudes, 180 in the Western Hemisphere and 180 in the Eastern Hemisphere. 
we know that 24 hours makes a day. So, 360 into 24. That means a day consists of 1440 minutes. 1440 minutes in a day. So, the earth completes its revolution in 1440 minutes. Okay. Then, it is the 0 degree longitude and it is the western hemisphere and it is the eastern hemisphere. Okay. So, I told you uh, in one hour, okay, in one hour earth completes 15 longitude. That means 360 divided by 24 equal 15. In one hour earth complete 15 longitude. Then in 180 longitude earth complete in 12 hour. So, here it is 12 hour and here it is 12 hour. 12 plus 12 equal 24. 24 hours makes a day. Next we want to learn about local time and standard time. Okay. Local time means the time based on the apex position of sun. Then that means the exact time of this longitude. That is the local time. Then we want to learn about standard time. See my dear students, there are many meridians passing through each country. And it create, if we follow the local time, it create many confusion. We can't decide the flight time or the railway time, radio, TV shows, everything will be interrupted. So to avoid the confusion, Every country accepted the meridian passing through the center of the country as the standard meridian. And the local time of standard meridian is called standard time. See, India situates between 97 degree east and 68 degree east. Nearly 29 longitudes passing through India. If we follow the local time, there will be 29 different time zones. It creates many problems. So, to avoid it, we accepted the central meridian. That is 87 half degree east. 87 half degree east is the central meridian. And the local time of the central meridian, standard meridian, that is the standard time in India. Okay. Then the next part is international date line. Okay. International date line. The 180 degree longitude having two different days. While traveling through east, it may be if we consider the 10 o'clock, the 10 p.m. Thursday. But from west, it will be 10 p.m. Wednesday. So, the 180 degree longitude having two different days. It creates many problems. Okay. So, to avoid that, an imaginary line passing through Bering Strait in Pacific Ocean. That is called as international date line. See my dear students, this is a 180 degree longitude. And it is the west and it is the east. From the west, here it is Tuesday. But from the west, here it is Wednesday. So, having two different days in the same place, it creates many problems. So, to avoid that, a broken line passing through the Bering Strait in Pacific Ocean, it is broken because it avoids even the small islands in Pacific Ocean and this imaginary line is called as international date line. If we cross this line, just think, if we cross this line from west, we are here in Tuesday, but we, are he, we reach east in Wednesday. We may lose a day. Then if we travel from east to west, then we may gain a day. Because here it is Wednesday, but we reach here in Tuesday. So we gain a day. So this is the international date line. So hope today's portions is clear for you. First we learned about rotation. Then we learned about uh, uh, Greenwich time. Then we learned about local time and uh, standard time. And the last part is international date line. So everything is clear for you. Thank you.